And when we win, we're going to have a second renaissance in this country and appreciate it. Because you don't really appreciate something until you've had to fight for it or until you've lost it and then fought for it and, and uh, gotten it back. I couldn't uh, agree with you more. I am looking forward to that day. And I intend to be here when that day happens. Well, so many times in history, tyrants and tyrannies collapse. I think Gandhi, to paraphrase him, said it looks like the dictator, the corrupt leaders are invincible, but then suddenly they just collapse. you got to just keep throwing the punches in there and not giving up, knowing we're going to bring it. That's like George Washington. When he finally won the war and they surrendered, he was stunned for several hours and didn't believe them, didn't understand after seven years of fighting. Right. Stay there, Wayne Paul, always amazing. This is his maiden voyage on radio with us. Got a host of issues coming up. You can run on for a long time. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, I like the Texas Ranger. Credo, which is actually Don't borrowed from one of the founding Texas Rangers. A man in the wrong can't stop a man in the right that keeps on a-coming. And that's what we've got to do, because these people mean business. We're fighting. Short segment right now, long one coming up. I wanted to get uh, to some of the things that Wayne may, may never have talked about on air. First, then we'll get back into solutions and where this country's going, and his brother and the family, and now one of his nephews. Uh, Rand Paul uh, looks like he is going to run for the Congress, but go back to your rural upbringing. Uh, your you know some stories about you and your brothers about uh, about Ron and about what it's been like for you. Well, how you woke up, how he woke up, or were you guys born awake? Being born to you know hardworking farmers, dairy farmers, uh, you know all of you guys working from the time you're about you know six seven years old. Were you guys born awake, or what was the process like? Uh, let us into a window of the icon that is your uh, brother, Dr. Ron Paul, and yourself, of course. Okay. Uh, we were born and raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, small rural town. And my mother and father had a dairy milk processing and delivery business. It started out in the basement of our house. And my mom and dad worked seven days a week to process bottled milk and deliver it. And we were always required on Sundays to go to church Sunday morning, and my dad took off enough time to go to church. But he worked seven days a week up until I was in fifth grade. Now, I'm the youngest of five boys. Ron is the middle of the five of us. So we claim he's the spoiled one in the family because the two oldest ones paid the way for him. And then we were never allowed to do anything, but we always say Ron got away with all of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying that because he can't rebut that on this radio show. So um, be careful. I might deny that later on. Any Anyway, um, my revelation into this knowledge started back in the early 70s, and it had to do with my representation of a taxpayer who, after I started to represent him, he ended up, six weeks after I met him, uh, passing away. And it was a direct result of the confrontation he had with the Internal Revenue Service. Oh, and I said to myself, if this is the way it is, I'm not going to ever do another tax return because something's not right in the system. So that was my awakening call, and that started my research, my documentation, and everything that I've learned from that point on has uh, held me in better stead made me better understand, and I think when people understand and learn, even if they can't do anything about it, they're better off morally, they're better off spiritually, and they're better off in their dealings with their fellow man. That makes all the difference in the world. What, uh, 
What woke your brother up? Uh, t tell us about uh, Congressman Ron Paul, your uh, brother. Well, I think Ron's timing was the fact that when he was in college and medical school and working, he always had spare time. And he got involved in research and study of Ludwig von Mises. And von Mises is the father of free enterprise Austrian economics. And there's a von Mises Institute that's in existence today that's extremely successful and continues to support free enterprise economics. And it's headed up by Lou Rockwell. That is correct. And it makes made a lot of sense to him, so he started to apply it, not only in his professional life, but in his personal life, and was extremely uh, successful in the implementation of free enterprise economics, and it was at that time that he started to formulate the idea that he needed to teach this to other people. All right, stay there. Let's continue with this on the other side and also talk about your saga. You've had quite a story as well. And then we'll uh, open the phones up for Wayne Paul, brother of Congressman Dr. Ron Paul. 1-800-259-9231. 1-800-259-9231. Stay with us. PrisonPlanet.tv is the website.